Welcome to Vector. If you'd like to skip this video for now and watch it later, you can watch it by clicking on the help button and on the video. In this video we'll go over all of the basic pieces of Vector and how to get started. And we'll start here in this left toolbar. This includes both your back to profile button as well as all the tools that you need to create elements in your design. These include things like a rectangle tool, a rounded rectangle tool, an ellipse tool or circle tool, a vector pen tool, a freehand pencil tool, a text tool, an uploading images tool, as well as some pre-built vector shapes for common use cases. To use these tools, click once here and then click and drag anywhere in the canvas to create what you've selected. With the vector pen tool, click once for each point that you want to insert. Click and drag to insert a curve. And when you're done drawing, press your Enter key. With the freehand path tool, click and hold your mouse down and drag to draw. As soon as you release your mouse, it will stop drawing. Over here you have your pages. You can add new pages, delete pages that are already there, and sort your pages by dragging them above or below one another. With your selected page, you can adjust the width and the height in the bottom left, including choosing from a number of preset widths and height for common use cases. In this next tab, you have your layers. You can hide a layer, which means that it's no longer visible, but it's still there. You can lock a layer, which means that you'll no longer be able to click on it, which can keep it from getting in your way. You can change a layer's name by double-clicking and giving it a new name. You can sort a layer by dragging it up and down. And you can delete a layer by right-clicking and clicking remove or by using the delete key on your keyboard. In this right-hand side, if you have nothing selected, you'll see an empty space. But as soon as you click something, you'll see what we call in vector filters. In vector, filters are things like backgrounds, borders, shadows, inset shadows, and opacity. You can edit these directly in the filter, turn them on and off with the checkbox, or add another of the same kind of filter. You can sort these by dragging them above and below one another, and you can delete them by dragging them outside of the filter's sidebar, and then releasing your mouse. In the top, you have a few different options. You can set snapping, a grid, or you can turn snapping and grid both off completely. You have your file settings where you can change the name of your file, as well as change the type of units that your file is using. You have your export. When you use export, you can actually right click and save the image directly in export, or you can use the download or print buttons or share to social networks. You also get a URL for each of your designs and you can copy this URL to visit a live image of your design on the web. You can create a new file as well and if you ever need more help just use the help button in the top right corner.